I will never grow weary of seeing places like this. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Before he touched off the riots, Crick spent time behind bars at the lock. If he cooked up any sort of a plan about his legacy, the trail has to start here. Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping for a huge sign on the wall saying, Crick's legacy clues here. Do I have to spell everything out? Look for data slates, notes, Terminal entries? If you wrote a poem on a piece of toilet paper, I want it. It's <laughs> so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. <sighs> fine, fine, go on, leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Do you need something?
here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. place collapsing on us. I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. We are in. Let's go. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open?
This ice and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We're on our own now. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Yeah, we're doing this right now. Or maybe we should wait until the next time we're on an alien world, and separated from Delgado by an icefall. We bide our time, and when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. No. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here.
I'll make it easy for you. If you find anything that says Griggs or Legacy, you grab it. This really isn't that difficult. Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. that over there. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. thought about what I've said. Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right?
You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Delgado was right. Kriggs must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. If we play this right, <laughs> we're gonna be filthy stinking rich in no time.
I can't imagine being stuffed down here and rot. Poor bastards. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would... Is this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy.
All right, let's keep moving. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. <sighs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me 
wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Cool. Cool. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
is if you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Greetings, Captain. Always listen to Delgado. you so long it's about time i was about to fly down and loot your bodies not now neighbor well you said you found something hand it over that's it just one slate after losing so much of our crew it better be a map with a big red x on it I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention, they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galban goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. Now, the legacy is out there, just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Adios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. 
If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Math. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Oh yeah, sure, anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. For your sake, I hope you are sincere. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. Bugs are soft. I would like a chance to talk to you. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. My friend's got a point, Bog. Every pirate in this joint comes to the Nova for a drink. Seems to me, instead of trawling deep space for stick change, we got a money... My score involves a one-time event being held aboard the Siren of the Stars. If anyone finds out the Crimson Fleet's aboard that Starliner, the event will be canceled and I can kiss my payday goodbye. There's no way I'm gonna miss this window of opportunity. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. 
If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of chaos. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Let's we'll talk I later. have things I wish to discuss. This place, I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. I always thought heat leeches were just pests. Never considered trying to raise one in a pet. Yeah? Need something? Smuggling beats a real job any day. Anything ship-related, you're at the right place. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up, as long as your credits are good. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books, if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Sure. It's not like I'm busy... And I need your cat. Upgrade that ship of yours? If you've got the credits? I bet you would.
would seem that none of the wealth stolen are protected. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Soon, everyone is going to learn to feel the fleet. Captain, greetings. Be taking off immediately if you are free soon. Good day, Captain. Howdy. Heard you boarded the key. Yo, back. So how did it go? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause.
Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Criggs was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. We're both dismissed. I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. Word is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvorov.
to reading your report. Frankly, it's been the last agent I sent. Then things are moving forward. Nice job. I was certain. Did you discover anything? Legacy. Wait a moment. I have never heard of such. I'm surprised. I suppose it. We assumed it. Well, let me see what we have. Nope. There are. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because. Delgado's no f What's your next move? Can you imagine him? Doesn't matter if that's... Clever, Delgado. We can't... Maybe I should head out... No. There's more to... It's imperative that you... If the Crimson... I need you to do... You're both dismissed. Yes. If you are free, sir. the key. Can't Date the pirates have left it in. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Anything else? Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. We'll be here if you need us. I spent sign I have things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. Take care of me. Anything I can help you with? I'm sure you can find something you'll... How about it?
Looks to me like you've already... In 